Hi everyone, it's Emilia here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video I want uh, to talk to you about extra light clay which is available in 14 craft uh, bar and this is the air drying clay. With this clay you can make elements like this one here or those. So basically, basically you use it with a mold. I've got two molds here. I got that pretty hard and I've got those elements. So I will show you how to use the clay and will give you a few tips um, about it. And also I will show you those gold pastes. They are available in 14 craft bar as well and they are available in a uh, few shades. I've got silver and gold here. I will show you how you can uh, use them later with your ready-made elements. So I will put this on the side and I will open the clay first. In this bag this is 100 grams and we've got white kind of brick uh, of white clay and I will keep the bag because uh, it is good to keep it in a plastic container. I've got one here. So when I finish making my um, elements I will put it in the bag and in the plastic container. I, I want it to be really uh, in a place where there is not much air because it's uh, air drying so it will dry out. So we take something uh, like not not much maybe uh, you have to actually try depend of the mold you've got. Let's say I will take just a little bit for now. I will put this in the back. And this clay it's very light. It it's just it's so light. That's why I love it for the elements for my cards because you cannot really feel it. It's, it's nothing. So, to make a shape, I will create a ball first. Then we'll try to squeeze it and give it a basic similar shape to the shape I've got already in my mold. Maybe I will need some more here. And this uh, clay is very easy to to join so you do not have to worry. Uh, yeah, it's, it, it's joining really well. Okay, so I will do that and then I will press it into the mold and it is better, I find it easier, if I take less and then add a bit more if I need then if I take too much because uh, I prefer to add less and uh, add a little bit more if I if I think that it's not you know it's uh, if it's not filled well so you just press with your fingers and I, I can f already feel that I've got a, a little bump not sure if you will see it so it's just a bit too much here so I will just push it to the side and we'll rip that off okay just taking it off and what I also do I will push off the the edges a bit inside so I will have a nice round shape here and the same here and I can feel it's too much here so I will just take that off as well It is very easy to, to do and push it back. Okay, if you want to have it really nice and flat here, you can use a card or um, something plastic. I've seen those plastic, uh, I don't know how you call them, just to, you know, to... Oh, what I will use now, I will use... I've got an ink here. So something, you need a flat surface. Maybe I will take that off. And you can press 
to make it flat but I usually don't mind because I will stick it to my cut or to different projects so you know it's not necessary so when you think that the shape is is good that you can take it out straight away you don't have to wait just press the sides first try to lift it gently my clay is a bit warm today but usually it it's not so soft and you've got that pretty shape you could wait oh, maybe a bit longer if it's really soft but, but it's okay so you have to put it away for like a few hours to to dry and the same if we want to make different shape so with shape like that I will roll it and create a like a, something like that longer so it will go round and the same as previous I prefer to have less than too much so I will start in a corner for example and I will be pushing it all the way round okay a bit more here okay so that's then you press harder so you want those little elements to be filled as well oh, sorry for the noises coming from outside I got a building works this year they building four houses very near to me so I I'm afraid I will have uh, noises like that till end of the year okay I will push off the edges of the edge actually towards the the middle and here as well because I want that heart to be nice okay I think it is a bit too much here so I will take that off okay I do like to use those elements because they they give really nice effect to your finished project. I will show you one project, my latest project actually. I've got it here. So I will show you in a second. It's with that heart I'm making now. And this clay, it's really good um, in terms of it's really <clears throat> uh, you can see all the elements really well it's very detailed that's it works great for detailed um, elements okay take that out oh like I said it's a bit soft maybe when it's really soft do not take it out straight away but it's not bad you can see it's really really pretty Okay, so you just put it on a flat surface and wait for it to dry. It may take up to 24 hours. <coughs> and I want to, so that's how we make them, okay? And I show you the project I've got with that heart here. This is the little lovely house with the album inside. But I use the heart here. Actually, the <laughs> the the heart in a wooden element was the same size so it looks really really nice and I show you now how you can use the paste this is like a wa wax so you can apply it to your element with a brush for example I've got a silver one here just take a tiny bit and then paint your element and the wax will dry up to 24 hours so you just uh, add the color first then 
Next day, just wipe it with the cloth. It will be really nice and shiny. It is nice and shiny already, but it will be even more tomorrow after wiping it. It's just I just want to show you how it works. I'm not sure if you can see. Um, let me change maybe the setting here. I'm not sure if you can see that this is really, really shiny. It is very pretty. So we've got the silver one. And let's say I will make something golden as well. Maybe that one. So I take the gold. And you can probably use it with your finger as well. So just take a little bit, maybe that's too much. Oh, it is pretty. And just wipe it. Oh, my husband is calling. I will answer that in a second. So just do it like that. Obviously, if you want to go into all the um, inside those beads, you have to use the paintbrush, but you can just apply it on the top surface. See, very, very nice. And you can also, with the paintbrush, go inside all the beads and just cover it all. You could add less uh, wax as well. It doesn't need to be heavy covered. Oh, it he won't stop calling me. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so that's all covered. As you can see, it's really, really shiny already. Really nice. So actually, yes, I just wanted to show you how the paste look and what you can do with it. It's very, very light. That's why it's called extra light. And it's good if you make cards because the elements, you know, I don't like heavy elements, especially when I have to send the card because I have to pay more for the postage. So it is uh, very nice to have something. It's, it's just nothing. And it looks really well. So thanks so much. I hope you will find that video um, useful and have a lovely day. Bye-bye.